right, so I'm talking about today a problem with some of the newer Ford vehicles. It includes the newer Coyote 5.0 V8, the 6.2 liter V8, um, Mustangs, F-250s, F-150s, all of them. Long story short, on my new F-250 here, or new to me F-250, I was getting a check engine light and a misfire uh, indication where the light would flash. And seemingly there was no drivability problems. I'd be going down the road, the truck would be fine. It only happened when I was under wide open throttle. And uh, as soon as the light would start flashing and the check engine light would come on, then I would experience a little bit of um, bucking and hesitation and surging and such. And the codes I was getting was the P0, P0, 304, and 7, which is misfire, cylinder 4, misfire, cylinder 7, and then a P0, 300, which is random cylinder misfire detected. And right now I'm on my way to the a shop um, to try a procedure. All right, so when I look up the TSBs on my vehicle, there's a common issue here. And it is a special service message that says 45788. Some vehicles could exhibit misfire codes after certain repairs. And it says some vehicles equipped with a misfire monitor neutral profile learning capabilities may experience the mill illuminating or flashing accompanied by one or more engine misfire codes. These faults can be the result of a crankshaft position sensor profile not being relearned after engine and transmission repairs. So in my case, the engine was just replaced in this truck with a new one. And it was done at a smaller shop who, I don't know this for a fact, but probably did not run this procedure. and Probably didn't even have the ability or didn't know about it. So basically what we have to do is um, go in to hook up to a Ford uh, computer and run one of the service functions in the IDS toolbox. It's going to be under the powertrain service functions and it's called the Misfire Monitor Neutral Profile Correction. And what that does is it lets the computer relearn and adapt its, its uh, strategy and it's, it has to do with the crank position sensor on these vehicles. So hopefully that fixes it. I'll let you know. All right, so just went and had the truck hooked up to the Ford IDS system, and it was literally a five minute procedure, not even. He just made sure the truck was up to operating temperature, cleared out the codes, and ran the procedure. And all you do is follow the on-screen prompts, but you basically just have to rev the truck above 3,000 and 3,200 RPMs, and it relearns the position of the crank and all that. And I guess these trucks, they know the exact, these new engines, the EcoBoost, all of them, they know the exact position of the piston. And it's just crazy that something like this could affect it so much, but we're going to see. I'm going to get on the highway here and go for a wide open throttle rip and I'll know right away if we fix the problem. There we go. There's absolutely no more problem at all. One more run here. That was it. That's really all it was. So hopefully this video helps somebody out. Unfortunately, you know, I have the program 4Scan at home and it does not allow you to do this very simple procedure. Maybe that's something they can build into it. So you're kind of stuck having to either go to a dealer or finding someone who has the dealer level scan tool. But maybe this will help you out nonetheless.